Jennifer here. Since Global got chaos, let's talk about how to get those chaos gears fast. Just the basic, you need 100 chaos cores to make one chaos jewel. You will need to have your awakened primal pen or higher gear, one case jewel, and 600 dimensional fragments. So as a total, you will need 3,600 dim frags for full chaos. After that, you'll need more dim frags to enchant. Aim to have a full attack uh, and defense up to plus 20s for all gears, then try to 30, 40, 45, and 50, and so on. The success rate will drop as you try for 100. There is two orders to craft Chaos Gears. If you are confident on your character and will not change for a few months, craft the weapon, main weapon first and sub-weapon. Uh, armor, and then helmet, gloves, and shoes. The reason is because you want to craft the highest attack damage and the defense to grow your CP. But if you jump around many characters and expecting to change within one month without buying expensive gear exchange coupon, maybe you want to try crafting the armor first. But increasing CP from attack and defense is very similar with the armor, so you might want to start with the armor or either main weapon. I highly don't recommend you to make a additional chaos gear in case you fail the, your main gears. It will take a lot of dimensional fragments to craft and enchant all over again. So focus on your one chaos gear set until you get 100 enchant for each attack and defense. To maximize your drops inside can zone, same from the Hadim, you only get one loot for 90 seconds. But depending on your individual's drop rates, from pets, stone, etc, you have to put on the stone of luck, enhance as much as possible. Also, if you have a full tier 6 or upper pets, they will give less pickup cooldown. Violent ones will give you additional drops, so if you want to manual and run around getting all of those vile mobs, it will give you double rewards than just farming in one place. If you are farming overnight, prefer to sleep on the spot where violent mobs are guaranteed. You might not have enough CP to push your main quest to enter the chaos maps. There is two ways to sneak into this chaos maps. One is to have one of your high CP guildies to go to the chaos zone and do a guild call, and you can save that location. Second is to sneak in from the West Valencia Basin border. This is possible because the Crescent Mountains is connected to the West Valencia Basin border here. If you go to this map and then you find the place that's named as Crescent Mountain Entrance, you just have to go through that path to enter the first map of chaos. To farm with low CP, about um, 10 to 12 CP, find 2 to 3 mob plays and have a meta character as your main for a faster chaos jewel farming. Currently, Kuno and Corsair can farm over CP zones, so I highly recommend you if you are only aiming for the chaos jewels, that class will be stable for farming over CP zones. Until most of the high rankers get all these 6 chaos gears, it's not going to show up in the central market. If you don't want to rely on your RNG, I highly recommend you to just buy this chaos jewel from market, which is gonna be 99 bill for about 1-2 to two months drops to about 41 it even drops below 45 41 it's like 23 in another servers in korea 
so you can wait for it but it will take for months to drop that number that's it for today's chaos guide thank you for staying if it helped you for your chaos journey please leave a like in comments uh, maybe sub if you haven't already that will definitely give me some motivation to make more BDM guides alrighty um see you on the next guide bye